So one of the jobs we knew we'd have to do on this van was we've currently got two six kilo Cala gas bottles um, and it only runs the cooker so everything else runs on diesel or the solar so we only need this for cooking. Now when we went away in our first motorhome we didn't have a refillable gas system so we were trying to find bottles in all the different countries, we bought the adapter kit and it was a bit of a faff trying to hand back empty bottles and some of the countries didn't even want to give you a deposit back on the bottle so we've decided we're going to invest the money and put refillable gas in. So in here our gas system is really simplistic so we've only got one bottle in here at the moment, the second bottle our neighbour ran out of gas so we gave them that bottle knowing we were going to fill the new system. But the, bo the, the bottles, we've, these are six, six kilo bottles and we've got two that sit side by side. It's just a regulator off on a hose straight up to the cooker. So it is that simple. So we've ordered two six kilo gas low bottles and then we'll have the refilling point in the side here straight into the two bottles. We're just going to fit the regulator straight to the new bottles. We could have had auto changeover valves and everything else but realistically we didn't see a point two bottles full of gas will last us four months in this because it's only used for cooking so the payback on it's a long time but it is going to be far easier for us to fill up at petrol stations and everything while we're away so that's one of the next jobs we're going to be doing is fitting that should we open it yeah dogs are just destroying something over there oh, <laughs> running the plant pot. <laughs> So we bought this from a company called Auto Gas 2000. They got good reviews. I spoke to them over the phone a couple of times just to ensure we we're on the same page as to what we wanted and what they could provide. Just a delivery. cards full on the GoPro we've just switched over the phone this is the kit we've bought the gas low kit we haven't even opened it yet so I only just cut it open um, that's the filling filling hose so we went for white to blend in with the fairing fairing whatever it is the side valance on the on the van all our other fill points are black but we thought we'd keep the gas one white so we get a fill point we get egg boxes. And then we get high pressure filling hoses. Two of, one to connect the two bottles together, one to connect to the first bottle. That's longer than the other one. And I think it's just the two bottles. So we've got two of them. And then you get a gauge on the front that tells you how full they are. So they obviously supplied empty. We should have an adapter, actually, to go to our um, They haven't put it in that box of they with the uh... They may have hoped. let's see what's in there. So they're the, there should be two of them, that's an outlet that goes, that changes it from the bottle outlet to the regulator that we have, we should have two of those, which we have, and then that's the piece I was looking for, look. so that'll allow one hose to go onto one bottle, and then the hose comes out to go to the second bottle, so they'll put it all into this box, and then this is the filler and the bracket which we obviously won't need because we're not doing it in internal we're doing an external fill so I need to really this is what's important because I've got to cut a hole that size in the side of the van so I need to know what size hole saw I need for that should have one well, that's it, that's everything yeah. 
going to have a read at what size I need to cut the hole in the side of the van. Something I don't particularly enjoy doing, cutting holes in the side of the van, but we've obviously got to do it for this. Have a read of the instructions just to make sure we're happy with it and then we'll look at installing it in the next couple of days. Morning. So the next step of the gas install, and to be honest, other than having to cut a 70mm hole, so looking at the instructions, it requires a 70mm hole. We've got a 70mm hole saw here, which I've borrowed, but um, we're going to cut a 70mm hole through the side here. Now I've looked, this is double skin, so we've got the locker and then we've got the outside of the van. There's a metal support going along here and there's a metal support going along the top here, so we have to go in the middle here somewhere to come into the locker. Now I can't see a metal support here. I don't envisage there'll be one. So we're going to give it a go. But we're going to go the back of the lockers about here. So if we, I think, put it there. Look at that. See how we get on. This is the worst bit. through there's our 70 mil hole and the LPG fill point will fit in here but I've got to cut with a file the two little cutouts for the plastic bit here I'm happy with that that'll look tidy that Just filed these little bits out here for the notches on the on the uh, housing for the gas filling point, and that should fit in there. It's going to be tight, but fits in there perfectly. So now I'm just going to put how this fits is if I take that out. This goes behind and that will then clamp either side of the wall and you screw your screws into the back of the body here. So I'm gonna put a bit of silicon around here and just mount that in there. And then this isn't gonna be easy to video. So on the inside of the cupboard, I'm gonna be putting screws in here, these long screws through there and clamping, basically clamping that either side of the wall with six screws that come in the kit.
pull these screws up on the back to pull the front tight onto the back. And once that's pulled up tight, I'll clean up that ceiling after. Right, so I've got two of the screws pulling that tight in. So if I just clean that up now. And there it is, so that's in and sealed. I've got another four screws to just put in the back to hold the two together and then we'll put the fill point in. It suggests and it makes sense that you attach the hose to the fill point and feed it through. So you don't put too much stress trying to tighten the fill hose onto the, the filler at the front because it's only made of plastic. So that makes 100% sense. So the system we've bought is we're going to retain the gas system in the van it's exact same as it was so it, it comes with its own regulator 37 millibar regulator that normally goes into the top of a Caligas bottle here so with the gasset system we've bought their normal outlet would go off to a fixed regulator but by retaining this we're of the opinion we'll fit two gas bottles in here that are refillable if we retain this, we can always fit a Caligas bottle as a third bottle in here and just swap the hose onto a third bottle and it leaves it more options for us. So this is the adapter that will fit to the regulator. And we just need to screw this onto the bottle. So I'm now going to fit the adapter on here just need to make sure that the rubber sealing washer is in there before you put it on and because in future we'll be winding the regulator in and out of these I need to make sure that this is really tight on the bottle so as and when we fit the regulator when we undo the regulator it's the regulator that undoes and not the adapter it's not unsafe for it to be the adapter it just is more of a pain because you have to put it back on again. So I've fitted that one to that one. The second bottle is here, and I've fitted that one to that one. So they're the two outlets of the two bottles. The other thing I want to do is fit the wide piece. So this is the filling side of the bottles. So it comes with a wide piece that fits on here. So this is the filling side of the bottle. So we'll have the hose coming from the fill point to here. From here, it will connect to the second bottle. So if I attach the hose to this, again this is the filling hose, put it up nice and tight, then this bottle can go in the locker, it's got a bit of stones in it, this. And then I can strap that bottle in. And then this bottle will go in and I'll connect that hose onto this bottle here. This is the filling nozzle. Unfortunately in the kit we didn't get the M5 countersunk bolts that bolt 
this into the housing. So we've had to wait till today, we've got them now. Um, so I'm just gonna bolt this into the housing. I've, I've mounted the back plate in the housing ready to take the bolt. So that sits the other side of the plastic housing and you bolt through the plastic housing and screw into that plate. Now, it suggests, which makes 100% sense, that you connect the hose to the fill point before you put it in the plastic housing so you can get it nice and tight before you put it in. Otherwise, you're putting stress on the plastic housing when you're doing it up. So if I put this hose on here, So that's nice and tight on there. So I'm now going to put this with the hose through the filling point and then I'll attach it to the bottle but I'll take this cap off first. That just twists off and leaves you your bayonet fitting that you'll use at the pump. So we've got some stainless steel M5 bolts that will fit through the bayonet housing. So the first top corner bolt's in. I'll just put the second one in down the bottom here. Right, that's started to come through. And then the last one in that bottom corner. So that's your fill point in. So that's everything it needs to do from outside. So the original housing went on yesterday, which was sealed on with Seekerflex. Then the bayonet fitting's gone in today with the hose on the back. And this is just the equivalent of a petrol cap. Well, that's how it will look from outside. So if we look inside the locker, we've got the two gas bottles, the two gas low bottles strapped in. There's an interconnecting lead between one and the other bottle with a T-piece. And then our hose from our field point will now screw onto this T-piece here. Once everything's tight, that is it. So the two outlets are here and here. Because they're gonna fill in parallel, um, I've had this one the easiest point to get the regulator on. This one I've had it twisted slightly so I can see the gauge to make sure it's full because if they were both back to the wall like this one, we wouldn't see the gauge. So, that's it. Just need to screw this on here and the system should be good to go and fill up. So that's it. Our gas system is fitted. We'll have to fill it up and pressure test it. But it's complete and to be honest, if we had all the bits, that really was a couple of hour job. 
it was probably easier than I anticipated it would be. Nobody likes cutting big holes in the side of their van, but I think it's done all right, it's nice and tidy. Everything's strapped in. We just need to fill it up. We may, at a later date, upgrade it and change the pipework and have auto changeover valves, but at the moment, because of how we travel, oh, I wanted to keep the regulator, because like now, we haven't filled these bottles up until we go to the garage. But our Caligas bottle can be sat alongside these bottles and the regulator will fit on that and you've then got three bottles. So I'm quite happy with the possibilities that it has. Yeah.